What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Banky101, coming at you today with Tech Tip Tuesday. And what are we going to go over today? Well, I'm always getting asked, hey, Banky, are you using a green screen? Yeah, I'm using a green screen. And how do I set it up? Well, for all my recording, I use XSplit. And today, I'm going to show you how to set up your green screen in XSplit. Very simple. Next week, we will go over how to set it up in Vegas Pro. Similar, super easy, and it's a great way to spice up your video. Or if you're streaming, it's a great way to spice up your stream. It gives people more to look at. So right now it looks like I'm sitting in here. But if I move my hands around too much, you can see the box that's there in the back is my green screen. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to order yourself a green screen. But all it is is basically a big green sheet. Mine's huge. It covers the whole back wall behind me. Um, you can go out and buy like tripod setups that you can drape this over. Uh, if you need to set it up in the middle of a room or anywhere that you could think of that you might need a green screen. What I did is I basically use these little U hooks. Uh, you got the little hook there and then there's a screw end as well. And then I just basically screwed this into the wall. I've got two of them screwed into the wall. The sheet that I ordered, the green screen that I ordered, has uh, two clamps. So I basically screwed these into the wall, clamped the green screen to these with the clamps that I got, and I was off to the running. But how do we set this up in XSplit? It is super, super simple. So if you're an XSplit user, you know how to set up your um, camera, basically. So once it's set up in your scene area, you just go down, right-click on that, and it's going to pop up this little menu. It shows you what your webcam is or what your camera is. Obviously, I'm using the Logitech 920. And it's going to give you these different options for it. Your layout, your effects. The one you want to you look at is the color. So once you first go in here, it's going to be on None. And what you want to do is click on Chroma Key. And you guys can see now, hey, here's my box. Here's my green screen click on chroma key mine's already preset 19 and 47 is pretty decent depending on the lighting that you have in your room you're gonna have to adjust these if you have a lot of lighting it helps out with the reflection off of the green so the camera can basically say yeah what's behind me is green and they can flush it out that's what this chroma key is going to do so depending on your lighting you're gonna have to adjust these and you can fine-tune them based on whatever you need so if I go all the way this way, you've got a gray screen, go all the way down, I get too much distortion on me. And you can kind of see the distortion on me um, even when I have this flushed out. And you just kind of work with this until you find that sweet spot. And if you have this set up in, one, in your one room that you're going to be uh, creating your videos or streaming with, and you're going to have the exact same lighting in there all the time, you're basically going to be able to set this and forget this. Sometimes I have a bigger light. Um, sometimes I use natural light uh, from the window in front of me uh, when I'm creating my videos. So I have to go in and fine tune this every once in a while, uh, but not too often. So basically you'll go in here, you click on your chroma key. Oh, and down here it says key color. So if you go, you can do this with red, green, or blue. So any of the primary colors, if you have any of those colored sheets, um, and I, if you're going to do like a red or a blue, I would do a very bright blue, um, not like a dark, dark blue, because light isn't going to bounce off that very much. And the same thing with the red. You're going to want a very, you know, bright, vibrant red, uh, so the light has, you know, something to bounce off of. If it's like a really dark blood red, it's going to be very hard for that to bounce off of. So you just go in here, you select your color, and then you mess around with these and you're off to the runnings. So I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, hit that thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in those comments below. I'm more than willing to help anybody out. Just hit me up with those questions. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful. Again, hit me up with those comments. Hit that thumbs up, and like always, I'll catch you guys on the next video.